Okay, we will today discuss very briefly about the anatomy of the bony pelvis, especially the female bony pelvis. First, we just gonna talk about anatomy of bony pelvis, and the anatomy of bony pelvis comprises of consists of bones, joints, and there are few landmarks. Okay, what are which bones make bony pelvis? and the bones are ilium, ischium, pubis, sacrum and coccyx. Joint sacroiliac, symphysis pubis and sacrococcygeal joint and landmarks linear terminalis, false pelvis and true pelvis. Okay, there are four type of pelvic shapes and these are gynecoid, android, anthropoid and platypeloid. These four types of pelvic shapes has been defined by Caldwell and Mollis. They examine thousands of female pelvic x-rays and they concluded these four type of pelvic shapes. Gynecoid is the classical female pelvis and 50% of women have such type of pelvis. Android is the typical male pelvis and 30% women have android pelvis. Anthropoid predisposes to occiput posterior. This is the main point. Anthropoid pelvis predisposes to occiput posterior means face presentation. Normally occiput should be placed on the left anterior or right anterior but this type of pelvis predisposes to occiput posterior and 20% of women have this pelvis. And last platypeloid and the main thing to note here is source pelvis predisposes to occiput transfers and those are rare type of pelvis. Okay, let us look at different shapes of this pelvis. First of all gynecoid pelvis. Here the inlet is almost round and but the anterior posterior diameter is slightly larger than the transverse diameter. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Transverse diameter is uh, slightly larger than anterior posterior diameter, but the shape is almost round or almost equal. And in android pelvis, this is triangular in shape. Okay, we can see here triangular in shape, and this is the typical male pelvis. Here, anthropoid pelvis, this is anterior posteriorly oval means anterior posterior is more than the transverse diameter and platypeloid is the transverse oval. Transverse diameter is more than the anterior posterior diameter. And this is, this is the short introduction of different types of pelvic shapes in the female which have some relations with childbearing. Okay, this brings us to end of this small topic.